what's up sun rays welcome back to my channel it's ray if you're new here welcome you can see by the title this is going to be a review on the design essentials almond and avocado line or wash day that i had so um yeah with no further ado let's go ahead and jump into it so the first thing i used um for my wash day was the almond and avocado nourishing co-wash you guys remember i picked this up and showed it to you in an unboxing along with a few other Design Essential products. I had never used their co-wash before, saw that they had one, and I picked it up and wanted to give it a try. So I did try it for um, this wash day, and as you can see, it is a white consistency. It is somewhat thick, but very thin. It is a very soft texture. It's not the texture of the Eaton Body Works co-wash. It's, it's similar in color. It's similar in texture, but that holds together a little bit more in my opinion. This is more like a um, Crisco grease. Remember the Crisco you get in a can? and once you use it and then you pour it back into something else and it starts to solidify or whatever it's kind of that texture to me so um so it does have a little bit of slip because of that um i was able to detangle my hair a little bit with this not as it doesn't have the slip that i like 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 but it does have enough slip to be able to start your detangling process so that was fine it has a pleasant smell to it. It smells very uh, salonish to me. A little bit better than salon formulas, but it's more of a salon formula to me, not like some of the other products that I have around here that smell really good, like Gourmand or whatever. Um, it's not bad. So I did use it. I did use it about halfway down so I think that's a lot for one use I felt like I had to keep putting it on my hair and the reason being is because when you put it on your hair because it's so thin and it's and it just uh, soaks into your hair you can't see it on your hair I mean it soaks into your hair there's not a lot of white sitting on top or anything so that is um, that can be a good or a bad thing depending on what you like I don't mind it soaking into my hair, but I do want to feel like it, it's cleansing at the same time. So I felt like I had to use more to feel like it was cleansing my hair the way that I wanted it to be cleansed um, and to give me, you know, enough feel on my hair where I wanted to detangle with it or whatever. So it does soak right into the strands. It does not lather at all, in my opinion. Um, very little bit of um, not suds, but you know, sometimes when you just even with a conditioner, if you use enough of it, you'll get like a little creaminess or a little whiteness. It does that, but it doesn't suds at all. Um, not really. I don't really care about that. I've had other co-washes that didn't suds, but I did feel like that they were cleansing. This one it does say nourishing so that maybe that's why because it just feels like it it feels like it's slicking on your hair it feels like it's soaking in but i i don't know if it was really breaking down now once i rinsed it out i did feel like my hair was clean i didn't feel like i felt a lot of buildup or anything on my hair i even scratched my scalp i didn't get anything under my nails so that was good i rinsed it it felt like it rinsed clean so and my hair did feel hydrated so um i will say that would this become one of my favorites i don't know i don't know that it will be yeah i do know this probably won't be one of my favorite co-washes would i ever use it again yes if i needed a co-wash i was completely out i was somewhere and this i saw this on the shelf um you know i would pick it up but i probably won't search out for it this is my initial thoughts on it I am going to use it again because I want to use it up and if my thoughts change, I'll let you know. But right now, I say it's a 
it's an okay cold wash. It's not a favorite, but don't expect um, it to cleanse your hair if you have a whole lot of gels and butters and things like that. I'm not sure if this'll, if this'll get through it. The other thing about this cold wash is it does have a silicone in it. It is a water soluble silicone. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it may have two silicones. Well, it has dimethicanol and it has dimethicone. And hold on. Yeah, these are not water soluble. They don't have the PG, PEG and the number in front of it. That's how you can tell if it's water soluble. So I will be using something to cleanse this silicone off my hair when I do my hair next. Um, after I use the co-wash, I did not deep condition this time because I didn't feel like I needed a deep conditioner since I was co-washing. This was a midweek co-wash. So I went right in with the almond and avocado leave-in um, because I am out of the, I, I'm out of the deep conditioner from this line. So I just wanted to do just design essentials today. So I went in with this almond and avocado leave-in and um, it wasn't all the way full. It was about here. Now it's about here. So I'm getting probably three uses out of this. I felt like this went onto my hair um, pretty nicely. I felt like it soaked in as well. I mean, you don't see any white sitting on top of my hair when I use this. So that's a good thing. I don't, I like to know that it's soaking in. However, I feel like I didn't really feel the moisturization that I want to feel and things of that sort. It went on, it was in my hair, um, and I was like, okay. So, yeah, now my hair did look very shiny after using both of these. Um, when I came up here, my hair looked shiny and um, it felt okay. It felt hydrated. It didn't feel plush. It didn't, my curls didn't feel clumped together and just luscious um it just felt like hair it felt very light and i'm not opposed to that my hair felt um it felt like clean wet light hair that wasn't laid down with a whole lot of product so this is a very light leave-in conditioner in my opinion and um yeah this one does not contain a silicone, I don't believe. Let me see, silicone free. Yeah, this it does not contain a silicone, which um, I was glad about since the co-wash did. And that's another thing. I'm not one who really cares for silicones in my wash products. I don't want a silicone in my wash products, even though I'm rinsing the, the shampoo out or I'm rinsing out the co-wash. Um, I just don't want the silicone to coat my hair at all in any kind of shape or fashion, form, shape or fashion, whatever the term is. So that's another reason why I won't purchase this again. I forgot about that because it has the silicone. I will not be repurchasing this. I think that is where a little bit of the, of the slip came from too. So that's why I think that it didn't have as much slip as what I like and what I'm used to. It felt a little different. There was some slip, but it was a different slip. And I believe it was the slip from the silicone versus a slip from a marshmallow root or slippery am or, or a BTMS or, you know, whatever else that could give you a little bit of moisture and slip. Um, I'm just throwing stuff out there. Y'all know what I'm saying. It was different. So anyway, so I added this. Um, after I added that, I came up here and then I was topping the leave-in with the almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse. Um, the mousse is a nice mousse. It comes out in a nice foam. I use pretty much one, maybe two pumps on each twist, depending on the size of the twist and the um, texture of a certain part of my hair. Some of my hair is a little bit thinner, so I use a, probably one back here and then two pumps more up here, um, that type of thing. But no more than two pumps on each um, twist and it went in quite nicely as well. My hair looked shiny even with this and it still felt light. I feel like my ends coiled up quite nicely with this as well. 
and when I got done twisting it up, I had some nice juicy um, looking twist. So yeah, I had good thoughts about this, but I have used this before. I do wanna let you know that with a different leave-in and I'll leave that video here as well so you can see it. Got um, different results. It was a little bit more defined in that video versus this one, but nonetheless, um, I don't mind the, the the mousse. I think the mousse is pretty good. Um, would I use this combo again? Probably not. I just don't think that this has enough moisture and I think that's why I got a little bit of frizz. So here is my hair after taking my hair down and this is day one. I do want to say that this mousse does have a silicone in it as well. So would I repurchase this again once this is gone? I probably would not because I prefer not to use silicones. Now, silicones have their place. I'm not saying that they're bad. I just prefer not to use them, but I definitely am going to use this up and I definitely think it's a good mousse for those of you who don't mind silicones. I think it's a really good mousse. I think it adds shine to your hair and it does what it's supposed to do, especially if you have a nice leave-in underneath it. I have not used this alone by itself. I might do that, give that a try and see how that works, but um, we'll let you know. So anyway, um, so that's it. So to wrap up this video on Design Essentials, I will say that the Nourishing Cold Wash is not bad. Um, it's okay. It's good if you just need a mid-week wash. If you don't mind silicones, pick it up, give it a try. The leave-in conditioner is very lightweight. If you're someone with thinner hair, you like lightweight um, leave-ins, this may be a good one for you. It does add shine to your hair. It is lightweight. It does soak in. Um, would not be a repurchase for me because I don't think that it gives enough moisture for my hair. And then the almond and avocado mousse. I like it. It does have a silicone. If you're into silicones, this would be a great one for you. If you're not, I'd steer away from this one. But it's not a bad mousse. It does what it says it's going to do. And it also gives shine to your hair as well. And your hair feels light. It doesn't feel weighed down at all. Um, so yeah, these are easy to find. You can pick um, most Design Essential products up. You can pick them up. Um, at Sally's, I think you can pick them up, of course, on their site. You may be able to pick them up in Target or something. I'm not, I'm not positive, but they're um, readily available, de definitely. Um, so yeah, that is my thoughts on the Design Essentials products that I use for this wash day and this twist out. Let me know what you think about this twist out. And if you've used Design Essential Mousse, what did you use it with? Let me know uh, because I do want to use this again. So give me another recommendation that I can use it with or if you use it alone, let me know how your hair, how it works on your hair alone. But that's it guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.